What's up guys? In this video we fix away broke on the rally car. Alright guys, so we just got done filming trying to break the rally cart and we were a little too successful. More stuff broke than we thought, so we're going to have to make a whole video of fixing what we broke. But that's alright because we're just making it the next level and better so it won't break again after we paint it. We were shooting a ton of oil out of the um, valve cover here when we were bouncing around and stuff. So Go Power Sports does sell a catch cam kit, so we'll mount that somewhere cool. It'll look kind of race car-y too. Two is we lost the brake bolt on these mechanical brake calipers. There's a special kind of bolt that's like tapered on the end so the brake lever can actually move. Also with the brakes, we lost a bolt here, so we just need to put, reinstall that with some Loctite. And as far as our steering goes, we welded in this bar with no gusset. So what happens is it was originally up here like this, so there was no play. And then when it got pushed down, it freed up some place in the steering. So what we're gonna have to do is add a little gusset right in here somewhere. And then this bar fell off, so that's easy fix, just we need to weld the bottom of it. Okay, so now I've got these little gussets cut, and then these will just lock up right there. Oh I'll yeah. Have to change the angle a tiny bit, but I think yeah, those will look good. pretty good. Yeah, so that'll keep it from freaking flopping around like crazy. Cool, just cut one more and well they're on. Alright guys, so we've got these guys welded in there. And we partially solved the problem because there's zero play in this anymore. Steering still has play. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do basically what this guy's doing down there. And we're going to make a new one up top, and then hold it up, and then that should solve our problems. So, we got almost all the play out, and it's probably not going to rattle around that much just because it's so tight in there. And now that this doesn't move as much. Because you use two hose clamps to mount it, we're going to try to go with some kind of mount like this. So, we'll cut two slits in this. Feed the hose clamps through and tighten her up. Alright, so what I'm doing now is I'm cutting out little slots so we can fit the pipe through. I'm just breaking through it with a screwdriver because it's pretty thin metal just so I don't have to make the cuts too wide. So what we can do now is just barely fit that through. So then we'll have our, our hose clamps like this. That way we can clamp our catch can just right here on the engine. Should be pretty clean too. Uh, I got this idea from Redbeard actually. It's just a clean way to mount it. All right, so we got our catch can installed with our hose clamps here. And I just cut the ends, so now I'm just bending them down like so, so they just look a little bit better. So now, we'll take this back over to our engine. Bolt her up. All right guys, so we got the bolt in there. And the bolt up here. So now the pedal won't fall out. I mean, this isn't that good of a demonstration, but yeah. yeah. Then I push the bell, we got the solid rod going all the way down. So, like, hit it. Jam on it. Yeah, if you really need to stop, you can put your heel into it and just stop. So, cool. I think the next phase of things is going to be re welding on the bar and un welding the underside of the other bar. Perfect. Continue. So the sidebars are completely welded on. Not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, we just got in contact with Eastwood and they're gonna send us some cool like punch and flare set So I think also in this video we're gonna add a little a front side 
or a front skid plate that'll go right along here and we can dimple dye some holes in it and I think that'd be really cool. Okay guys, so in that last couple of clips, you saw me making a skid plate for this thing. And it, it, it was kind of complicated, so I didn't want to film anything except for time lapses, but I'll explain right now. So, first of all, this thing looks so cool. It's definitely like very rally inspired. Kind of stitch welded right up there, leaving those two openings. I just welded all the way along the sides. And I'm really happy with how this turned like I was worried that it'd be bent on this side and bent on this side and then flat and or like and pushed up in the middle, if that makes sense. But now it's time for the really cool part. Eastwood sent us these punch and die flares. These little things basically cut, punch and die the hole. All right, it's like, it's hard to explain, I'll show you, but we'll have one here, one here and one here. So this means now, We'll be able to cover all our projects with awesome dimple dyed sheet metal. Um, I think we're also gonna do a little piece like right here. I think that'll tie it into the front too. I think it's gonna look sick. This is kind of a dangerous test panel because I already welded it all in and stuff, but I'm pretty confident that this is gonna be a really easy install. So the first step is gonna be just to drill a half inch hole right in the center. That's the only drilling you really have to do on this whole thing, so it's pretty sweet. Quick release drill bit, of course. So now, so a little Eastwood thing comes in three little packages. Looks like you just put that in through here. And this is a lot bigger than how big the actual hole is. It's gonna be about that big. Well, it's gonna be exactly this big, actually. So this will slide in here. It's nice that you can take that out so you can use it as like a little template. And then, instructions say, just tighten her up until it's hand tight. And then what we can do is just turn this down. Another thing is, if I were to do this, I couldn't do this any, I couldn't, if I had, let's just say I have all the tools to do a, a proper dimple die. I don't have anywhere to do it. I couldn't put the go-kart in the press, you know? Like I can just do with this, so. Yeah, that's plenty tight enough, so now, I'm gonna back it out. Oh cool, so it immediately gets loose. Oh, this looks so sick from underneath. All right, moment of truth. Oh dang. That is pretty. That is sick. I'm running a uh, two and a half and then a one and a half for here. That way it's kind of, not all the same, it's, uh, it'll have some symmetry on both sides. I think it's gonna look really good. So, let's see if the one and a half is as easy as the two and a half. It looks like I might need to tap this out just a little bit. Man, this looks pretty dang sweet. All right, so I cut out the two pieces of metal and welded them in, and we got this Eastwood dimple die thing, and I mean, look at this, guys. This is so gorgeous, it ties in with the front. Took a really long time to measure. I actually had to 
measure here to here and then average it to find the middle of the hole and then divide this by five to get four spaces for the holes, but it's looking really good. But the last one is done. It's loose enough, just like that. It comes right out. And oh my, dude, this is, I mean like build quality just went up by like 400%. That's beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to get this thing in some paint. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we'll load it up in the C10, take her to a parking lot and just give it one last drive before we strip it all down. This thing hauls. It's so funny, like drifting around. The, this is like a parking lot for like overflow, I guess, for this event. And like drifting around these little cone things is pretty fun. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I just can't get over how good these dimple dies look. Here, I'm gonna get out real quick. Just take a look at this. It's insane. Also, this thing drifts really well, but as you can see, our belt's kind of tired. I mean, I, we're, it's definitely stealing some torque from us, and I think we're actually out of gas too. But, I mean, that's no big deal, so cool. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you Go Power Sports. Everything on here is from Go Power Sports. Makuni carb we added last time. This straight pipe exhaust sounds absolutely sick. So, cool. On that note, the next time you see this thing is when we're gonna be stripping it down and painting it. We're gonna go rally car inspired paint theme on this with like a blue, Subaru blue and then gold rims. I know we paint everything with gold rims but it just looks so good on these things, so. Sweet. Stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.